Henry Morgenthaler is back in New Brunswick court again. The doctor and abortion advocate launched a lawsuit against the province in 2002. He wants Medicare to pay for abortions performed in his Fredericton clinic the same way all other provinces do. By law, Medicare only covers abortions performed in hospitals on the advice of two doctors. The province's attorney says only a woman who has had an abortion should be able to sue for compensation. Morgenthaler argues that he has public interest standing, meaning he can argue the constitutionality of the law. UNB law professor Carissa Mamathan says asking a woman who is actively seeking an abortion to bring the case to court herself would be ineffective. It is, there's little to be gained by requiring that individual person to identify herself and put herself through the court process in order to determine the validity of the law. We don't need an individual person's story to determine whether the New Brunswick government has acted consistently with the Constitution or not. Of course, the case is not without controversy. Pro-life campaigners say taxpayers shouldn't have to foot the bill for abortions. Peter Ryan is the director of New Brunswick Right to Life. He says that if Morgenthaler is given public interest standing, so too should his group. The other thing that's especially troubling for us, New Brunswick Right to Life tried uh, uh, four years ago to enter into this case as an intervener, which means that we would represent taxpayers, the unborn, mm -hmm. and women. And the same court, the Court of Appeal, which had the hearing the other day, denied us status to represent women and so on. So it's galling for us that uh, Morgenthaler might get to represent women. Uh. The New Brunswick Court of Appeal has withheld its decision for at least a few months. However, in other provinces where Morgenthaler has brought this issue to the courts, he's always won. For Stew Journalism, this is Bailey White.